Hey, what's going on? It's Bill Burr, and it's time for the Thursday afternoon, just before Friday, Monday morning podcast, and I'm just checking, just checking in on you, you fucking who, uh, what's going on? How are you? Um, oh, does this sound sound fucked up here? You know what it is? You guys probably wonder why, Bill, why don't you, when you get the fucking sound right, why don't you uh, just set it, set it and forget it? Remember that shit? You turn on an oven, just forget about it. Just fucking walk away from it. <laughs> I bought one of those things. The thing was the shit. I don't know. I can't remember whatever happened to it. Stick a whole fucking chicken in there, you know, and I would set it, but I would not forget it. I, I would always remember that I had a chicken cooking because I was living in New York and, uh, you know, I was paying nine grand a month for like fucking 30 square feet. So, you know, I had my pillow propped up on the other side of it. And, you know, it's impossible not to hear that bell go off considering uh, my head was against it. You know, half of my head would be sweaty and red. And I'd sit down and I'd eat a whole chicken. Greasy as shit. I don't understand why fucking chickens are so goddamn greasy. You know, when you look at them, they don't look greasy. And they're greasy as shit. And then, you know, what's the worst is you fucking show up. And the amount of people that don't know how to cook chicken and it's just fucking dry ass chicken. Do you know way back in the day, back in the day when I was young and I had more hair, um, I used to do uh, what was called the Uptown shows. You know, do the Uptown show. Uptown, you know, in my business is means uh, the black shows. The shows where the crowd is African-American and uh, every once and there's like one white guy on the show, one token white guy. So I used to be the token white guy on those things. And I remember all the fucking time I used to do these things. And I hope he hears this. I used to work for uh, talent. He used to do all those fucking rooms. And they used to always give me shit, say white people don't know how to have a cookout or barbecue, whatever the fucking thing is. And I'll never forget, he invited me. I can't remember, was it him or Gerald Kelly? They invited me up, way the fuck up in the Bronx. I don't know where the hell I was. It was this fucking, like, basketball slash do stand-up during the day in this basketball park. So I go, oh, yeah, fuck it, I'll go up there and do it. So I went up there, you know, and they're fucking cooking up and all that shit. And I got to tell you, I will never forget how fucking disappointed I was when I ate the chicken. It was so fucking dry. I'm telling you, everybody talks shit. Ah, fucking do this, I'll fucking do it. Go, go fucking do it. I got, you know what? I should have Nia here for this because that's another one too. They always tell me how good soul food is. I've been to one good soul food place. That's the same thing with like barbecue too. Oh, everybody raving about fucking barbecue. 90% of those things are absolute shitholes. You walk in there, you see like 50 health code violations. There's fucking flies and stuff. And then they, just, they try to disguise all their fuck ups with like fucking, you know, 10 pounds of barbecue sauce. I mean, you put barbecue sauce on a tree branch, it's going to fucking taste good to some level, right? Um, I found that all, you know, trying to act, you know, you know what the reality is, is I don't know shit about barbecue. So it's just like, you know, if you don't know shit about stand up, you're going to watch a bunch of hacks before you get to a good one. So maybe that's what it is. I have no idea. I have no idea. The one place, soul food place that I went that actually, I went to Amy Ruth's a long time ago, and I liked that. I thought that that was quality. All right? So I know it has to be out there. I mean, God knows if you want to get a good fucking corned beef sandwich, I know that you go down to Tom Bergen's here in fucking L.A., right? I know where to go for that shit. So somebody help me out in L.A. Where's, where's, where's a good spot for all of that type of stuff? Because I can't say it because it would be sacrilegious, but I've gone to the most famous fucking... Um, I guess soul food place out here. There's two locations and I went to both of them and the food absolutely without a doubt, no questions, landslide fucking sucked. And I was like, what is there a God? Why is there a fucking line around the block for this shit? It's terrible. There has to be, this has to be the spot that only guys like me know about. Right. And then everybody else is going to the real place. Um, that was a fucking left turn. I think the only good barbecue I think I ever really enjoyed was when I was in Alabama and there was a place called uh, Saws. Smart ass Wilson, it st- stood for. And that shit was fucking delicious. You go in, the place was clean. 
You know, they always have to have it be a little bit funky. It kind of looks like, do you guys build hot rods here or are you, are you making a fucking, you know, brisket? <laughs> you know, it fucking pisses me off those. Whenever you watch the Food Network and you watch those professionals doing it, I'm always screaming at the TV. Where do you, where the fuck is your restaurant? I don't want to sit here and watch you cooking all this shit that I can't fucking eat. I mean, it's works of art, you know? People make barbecue of some fat motherfuckers, though. You got to admit that, right? Just big fuck. They look like they drive trucks. Um, anyways, this is just making me hungry. Speaking of which, I've been eating like shit, you know? I know I was going to fucking tell you something. I remember what the hell I was talking about. I started talking about fucking dry chicken. Oh, who gives a fuck, right? Does it really matter? I'm just checking in on you. This really isn't even a podcast. <laughs> 